Facebook, it's your friendly nosy neighbors, Jessica Carden, Nicole Crosley with the Murdoch Man Wearing Company. Thanks for joining us today because we are doing Tour With Us Tuesdays. Best part of the month. We love, Best part of the week. We love it when we do Tour With Us Tuesdays because we've got a special guest today. Brad Wells with the High Point Companies. Brad Wells, so you may remember Brad from one of my favorite houses on the tour on the Parade of Homes and that he talked about all the cool things. So Brad is High Point Companies, but what's really cool about Brad is he's a designer as well as a builder. And so his stuff, the when he explains what it is, we're excited for you to talk about the cool things. Kay. So this house is not for sale. It's, it's a not. custom build. It is a custom home. They've been in it about six months. Okay. Um, I tried to I tried to talk them into putting on the Parade to Home. But they're kind of private people, yeah. and so they're like, "Hey, no, you know, we're yeah. just." I'm like, "Okay," but they did offer to allow us to come in and do a tour, so nice. that we can make it available for everybody to see. We get the special everybody stuff. That's Sometimes right. We can even get the private people to let us in. Like, and let's open go in and snoop around your house, open the closets, awesome. and look everywhere. Well, I am yeah. excited because this house is gorgeous. So yeah. we are out at the um, Waterstone, Waterstone Subdivision, yeah, Waterstone which is Estates. on estates which is on the west side of rigby lake correct by rigby. so we're gonna yep. we'll see that at the end but uh, let's yeah. just get in here yeah because this is in. amazing so this has got the modern farmhouse look yes mm -hmm. we got the modern farmhouse the designers box. told me one of the kind of the, what they try to incorporate what they call coastal farmhouse oh yes very coastal. so the with the wood. porch yes. and the wood you know that's why it feels a little different it i'm it like does. it's just not quite not quite farmhouse, farmhouse yes. coastal, yeah that's kind that's of the, the perfect description farmhouse. so because coastal. that's what makes me so much the, think of summer's house yeah. is coastal yeah this is a beautiful three and a half foot wide white oak door nice beautiful with the side lights yeah and we incorporated inside here they wanted they wanted the view, to, as you see, they yes. wanted to be able to look. Yep. But at the same time, they're like, well, we don't want, as their neighbors are driving by at night, them to look in. So yep. we've got hidden in the valance here, a powered blind. <gasps> come no. Down. That's yeah. what's up there. Oh, are you kidding? Yeah. So, so that's that, very New Orleans when they put curtains in front of their doors. Exactly. To cover. So yeah. this is all, it's all on a remote system. And so if they want, they can just close the blind so down. So we're going to see through that this. All of the blinds are electronic, and they can control them and set them on timers. Yes. Yeah. You know so what I cool. love about that? Maybe a little bit of a clean freak. You're not touching, so there's not fingerprints. There's not. You're just uh, like you just know. You got yeah, one. And they can set it up on an app so that it knows with time of day, like nice. seasons. So they when the sun around. comes in those back windows and stuff like that. Good. Amazing. So this is the entry. One of the one of the cool things about this is just the the, the barrel, barrel ceiling with the white oak tongue and groove ceiling that we did in here. I love the white oak and the white, and yeah. then we're not quite white on the walls. No. It's, so it's just it's, that little it's actually different. actually called classic gray, I believe is what it is. Oh, classic gray. It's beautiful. Okay. I love that. I look, cause it's still, if you wouldn't, it looks white. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah, I love it. So we've got the walkway. Let's start this way. Okay. So this is the piano room and office and they wanted in the design to mix a little bit more masculine with this. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we went yep. with some of the black accents. They mm -hmm. already had this black grand piano. Perfect. I like the so, extra, extra textures. Yeah. yeah, and so we added On these the textures wall. since we were, that was just a plain wall at first. We were yeah. already doing the, the uh, coffered ceiling detail. So with the owner, we talked about some ideas. She gave us some of her favorite Pinterest yep. pictures that oh, she had, yeah. and, and, yeah. We, and we went with Do that. Do builders hate that when they roll in with Pinterest? I don't hate it. I just try to help people understand the reality of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's what the hard part is, is a lot of people see Pinterest as like, I can do that. Well, sure you can, but a lot of people don't realize that most Pinterest pictures are the most expensive options of out there. Of course yeah. they are. Yeah. Well, so. I love it. I love the brass. And this isn't, is it black look or is the, it just It a, is black. So yeah, oh, so we did this glass. Oh, look at the doors and, and the glass. And you, see how, glass. you see how on this side, the doors are black. Yeah. But on the hall side, oh, they're white. I didn't even notice so, that. So yeah, you don't notice yeah. it until you're in here. Oh, that's but cool. Those are what fun. we have is different sheens. So on the cabinets, mm. it's actually a flat sheen, same color black as that's on the trim of the windows, but it's a different, so this is that's more of a semi-gloss. That's why it just looks so it has, like, Yeah, it ah, looks like different colors, but they all blend. I wondered yeah. if it was a dark green or, okay, that makes sense, because it's a matte rather than a sheen. Yeah, yeah. Ah. And, then, and that and sets then off the piano, because you get the shiny a, yeah, high, you got gloss. The high gloss. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so you can, that door closes first. So I especially White. love the doorknob with the, the glass, so, yeah, kind of so modern. Yeah, so we did the glass. Yep. Glass really knobs. Cool. Modern both. yet uh, vintage yep. yet, yeah, it's really cool. It's awesome. Let's go. Okay, let's keep moving. So what kind of floor is this? So this is a seven inch wide plank, white oak floor with a whitewashed finish. Mm. So as you look at it, you kind of see some of the white coming yep, through it. Yeah, you do. Uh -huh. And so what they do is they whitewash it and then they back sand it. 
Okay, and so that's why you don't see tons of white on it, but that's how it's made. Gotcha. This, I, this white oak, a, I've decided, is my favorite. It's yeah, really, it, this is a yeah, custom, my favorite. A custom uh, piece of furniture they had built specifically for that For exactly the spot, because that's perfect. That's right. Yep. So, yeah, so uh, nice. you walk into this, and I mean, this is the wowzer factor, right? Yeah, well, the barreled ceiling leads you right into this 22-foot tall great room that... Uh, has tons of natural light. Lots so we're of looking windows. right out on Rigby Lake. We are looking right out on Rigby Lake. And I love That's how you sunrise. see. I ha love how you see the um, the fire pit and the thing. It looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. it looks yeah. beautiful out those windows. Yeah. And I like That's it. Kind of matches some of the circles. So I notice also you got the barrel ceiling. Your trim yeah. in here is gorgeous. So we spent a lot of time with the owner going over some of the details of the trim in this house because. She wanted to make sure that it was just right. I mean, yeah. we actually mocked up that whole window wall. Yeah. And she's like, no, let's do a little, something a little different. And we mm -hmm. got it right and did it. Yeah. And then, so we have this detail of the beam with that little header piece, mm -hmm. lintel piece on top of it. But we wanted to match that on, on the edge of this yeah. barrel ceiling. So even though they're completely different, they tie perfectly exactly. together. Exactly. That's gonna Gorgeous. be one of the fun things of you being a designer builder, but yeah. then every owner has their own take, has their yeah. own input, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, that's perfect. So even though you know you build hundreds, yeah. however many houses, thousands. Yeah. Well, yeah. not quite each, thousands, but. Each, you know, you can have a little. <laughs> I don't wanna be yeah. the thousands. Not I'll thousands. stick with the hundreds. Well, this yeah. is what I call, you'll hear throughout this video, the high point touch. When you see certain things that Brad thinks of, because he thinks ahead, and everything has to be planned ahead, and he thinks that that's right there is the stuff that's a high point touch. Yep. So awesome. one other thing I want to just talk, you feel how comfortable like the temperature wise yes, in here? Yes, yeah. You know, and, the, and you don't feel air blowing on you? That's because yep. we have radiant heat through the whole main radiant level of the, heat. of the floor. So as you look here, you're oh. like, oh, why do we have two thermostats? Well, the reason we have two thermostats is one controls the radiant heat, but then we also did a, they wanted air conditioning, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so we have a forced air system that can be used as a backup heat source for those times like spring and fall when mm -hmm. it's not cold enough to keep the radiant heat on full time. But they just need a little, but you just need a little, let's warm off. it off because yep. then it's like 75 degrees in the afternoon. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, but then it also provides air conditioning in the summer. Nice. So smart. So. Perfect. So smart. Perfect. Yeah. I love a radiant heat though, especially a wood. It's real just, soft and yeah. warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is the fireplace? I love the fireplace. So this is a cast lightweight concrete. Really? Yeah. It's so did they choose what this is going to look like and they cast it like that or did they pick a... So they, no, got, this, oh, this is custom. I mean, we custom, yeah. we kind of showed them... Um, Matches. It does. All that trim up there. And it, this is a local company in Idaho Falls ah. that, um, you know, if people want to know, we'd be more than glad to get you the information yeah. on. Yeah. But they do, yeah, they do stuff all over. They actually are a company that came from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, and it's two brothers that are actually up here now and they're... Um, Sturdier, heavier, more delicate, harder you know to what? maintain. So it's it's actually only three quarters of an inch thick. Wow. Okay, yeah. but it's so I mean, a a true concrete cast stone. You can imagine you'd have to have a oh, the full weight footing of it. and everything. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this gives you a lightweight option. It's hand packed, so everything. I mean, so it looks like hewn stone stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. And yeah, it really is. Oh, beautiful. I nice. love that. So new, new folks coming to town, bringing great stuff I know, to Idaho that's Falls. what we love about when Idaho grows. That's yeah. right. All right, let's keep moving. Are we okay. going master suite next? Yeah, we'll come in here to the master, the laundry room and, and the master. So laundry is just kind of tucked away in the corner, kind of by itself. I love it that it's by the master. Yeah. I love and that. It's close to the master. Oh. One of the cool things was just, just these uh, double doors. These, yeah. once again, They're white beautiful. oak door, tying in that white oak. Are they called everything. Western doors? Well, Western saloon doors, doors saloon or, or saloon doors, saloon doors, doors, doors saloon or doors. Uh, uh, like uh, they're also called like a pant, just like a pant, like a swing a butler, doors, yeah. butler door. You butler know, door. Um, yeah. Oh, I love the colors in here. Yeah. Did a maple top in here with yeah the colored cabinets on the Beautiful. walls. We've got hanging. My racks next house for, will have those racks. Yeah. yeah. So, so nice. For those delicate, you don't want to throw in the dryer. Because, you know, all of us have a big rack standing on our yeah, floor. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, look at all the, the counter space for folding and stacking yeah. and sorting socks and all and of that stuff. And there's an open spot here so that, you know, we've got the, the laundry basket yeah. and you can just roll here out of the way. Yep. But we also, we talked about the blinds being yes. you know, automatic. Well, there's remotes for them, so, you know, they can open and close without. Uh, so nice. great. 
I love the thought process of putting a cab, because uh, a lot of people are raising their front loaders, but this gives you a countertop of That you can actually mm -hmm. fold, so, yeah, nice. so it's not up here. Because everyone sticks their stuff on their laundry, but yeah. what you really want is a countertop. Yep. Yeah. So smart. Yeah. High yeah. point touch. Nice. Nice. And I love tall doors. All the doors yeah, are. Yeah, so everything yeah. on this level is all eight foot tall eight doors because we did 10 foot ceilings. And, you know, we worked with two amazing interior designers on this home. And, uh, you know, so a lot of these touches, I, I don't, don't let me take credit for them. A lot of them, you know, uh, we <laughs> come spent. Come on in so Tommy can come in. You're hanging yeah, in the hanging doorway, out the door. Jessica. Get out of the doorway. We spent, we spent about a year and a half Beautiful. total designing this home before we actually started construction. Wow. Yeah. So. Well, when you do a nice. truly custom home, it's a job. Yeah. I mean, to get it all, yeah. Yeah. So I love this. Master yeah. suite with its separate entrance, you know, off to the back covered porch that has a, a private hot tub out there. And we did, and I'll show you guys in a minute, but these back porches, patios, these covered patios are heated. So even in the wintertime, oh, nice. you can go and you can, you can enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the outside. And I noticed this is not a Perfect. through. You have a separate fireplace Separate in. fireplace, so you have the privacy, mm -hmm. so you don't have the little grandkids peeking through asking what yeah. grandpa right? doing on this side. <laughs> Yep. And, hey, uh, hey, that's right. hey! Which, by the way, they could see right. That would be the perfect. Yeah. You could and see now, the and you did the brick here, which yeah. is fun. So this is actually um, this was a red brick. Okay. Oh. Um, we did thin. We did thin brick. This is real brick. Okay. Oh wow. Um, but the look that uh, they gave us that they wanted, she's like, I want this to look. I don't. She's like, I don't want it to look like a red brick, you know, yeah. fireplace. And yeah. so, uh, it's painted white. Beautiful. So the kind of old world. It's yeah. Gorgeous. Know, yeah, it looks very old. Love it. It looks coastal farmhouse. -y. And then, coastal and farmhouse. then you notice in here the temperature's a little cooler. Yes, yes, yes. Because this the this whole master suite is on its own zone, and the master bathroom, and most people like to sleep a little cooler. You want a cooler master, but you want to walk out there a little right. more. Yeah, and there so, you go. So that's why it's a little cooler in here because they've set it three degrees lower. So smart. Love New the take, take, take New advantage take on the of the door, door and the mirror yeah. all in one. Yeah. 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 Perfect. It's go Perfect. Gorgeous. 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 I love this tile. And then it's duplicated back through here. It so. almost makes it like, it looks like that's a, a window, but it's Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it's I was not. looking outside and I thought, oh, outside. Yeah. Why would it go to the front porch? Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. Goes into the This is the, the, the first place I noticed the beautiful, the beautiful knobs. Yeah, and, really the, and a majority nice. of the home we did, there's a, an antique brass mm -hmm. um, is what a lot of the colors are, but the colors that uh, they selected for the master, um, this is a, it's a polished nickel. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. I just, it just felt different. Yeah. There was a different feel for it, but now, even, yeah, yeah the nickel. I realize that it's a polished and nickel. And that's Beautiful. one of the things that, you know, you can see a lot of people are like, oh, I got to do the exact same, you know. Like uh, hardware oh, yeah. and everything in every room, and you don't have to. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You're going from one I love it when it's different. I so, really do. Yeah. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal tub. This is a serene area. Yeah, that's just, a, that's like a picture, a magazine picture oh, it just is. in it's itself, fantastic. isn't it? fantastic right there. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So as you Tommy walk in, in and you've got the tub with the, with the tile surround. With the phone on the top. That's always called that <laughs> on the top with the, the phone thing. The phone faucet. You young yeah. kids won't know what that means, why that looks like a phone. But that you, is. See if they can dial it. And, yeah, and right. you don't even notice as the continuity of the tile on the floor. It just looks like the shower is the same place. You don't even notice the door and it just yeah. is open and feels really spacious and yeah. calm. It's amazing. So this is actually a marble floor. Oh. So this is a marble tile that oh, came nice. in 12-inch sheets. Mm -hmm. And then it's all, you know. Okay. And on this kind of a floor, a marble floor will be very cold, but you have radiant yes. heat. And you notice the bathroom, it's a little warmer than the bedroom was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's on its own. Yeah, so smart. And so then do you do marble up all on the inside of the shower as well? Uh, yeah, we selected the, the, the tile that, they, that the designers picked. Gorgeous. It is a marble nice. look. Three Gorgeous. section and, shower. And no Rain bathroom head. is complete. No master bathroom is complete anymore without the bidet. Yeah. No, you've got to yeah. have a bidet because yeah. it's not real in For this sure. world. Well, <laughs> after the toilet toilet paper shortage, <laughs> then everybody's That's like, right. well, I guess These we're going to do a bidet. Have to do a bidet. <laughs> yep. That's awesome. So then yeah. um, does this, where this leads into my favorite areas. Yeah. So but you did. skip the shower part before you go to the favorite area. I do. You have the oh. rain head, then the you've wand. got the wand, and then you've got the regular shower head. And yeah. a nice... It probably slopes just slightly to the drain. It's got huh? a linear drain at the one end, so everything mm -hmm. slopes to the end. Yeah, with a rain head. Somewhere to sit down, shave your legs, or read your book or Facebook while you're in the shower, because you got to <laughs> hide from the kids. So now we're into my favorite place, 
And I love the closets that Brad does because I love the use of all the space all the way to the mm -hmm. top. All the way to the top. And we were looking in these and we thought, what are these? Light but these fixtures, are I always pull her downers. Out. Yep. So, so you uh, can't reach your clothes? No problem. You pull her down. Yeah, it's awesome. Love it. Nice. Yep. And you got to have a fancy light fixture in your closet. Of course you do. That's just the thing to do. Of course you and do. And built-in drawers and, and just tons of... Even though this isn't the biggest spacious walk-in closet we've ever been, you use it all the way all to the way. ceiling and so you can put way more Yeah. yeah so stuff. you can add that space to your bathroom or yep. to yep. your bedroom or yep. something like Instead that. Instead of using up floor yep. space. And so smart. Yeah. So awesome. So smart. So awesome. That's Our, I like so that smart. Well, so awesome. Follow so me and we'll continue onward. We'll continue onward. So now that we've seen the master suite, we'll head over here. One of my favorite spaces in this whole home is the kitchen, dining, living area. And we're going to come see the kitchen now. Oh, wait. We've got to wait for Slowpoke. He's working his way around. There he is. The colors are so peaceful and warm. Yeah. So I have, with the gray, I always have felt that it's a little bit sterile, but you try and warm it up with a little bit of brown. Yeah. But this is just warm and It's the, and I think it's peaceful. the white oak. The, all that touches. The I white love oak. that wood. Yep. I love that wood. Yeah. yeah wood. It really is. Yeah. Wood and warms the finish it up. that we put on it, so a lot of people don't like white oak and the fact that they're like, I don't like that yellow. Oh. Okay. But this is actually what we did is what's called an invisible finish. Hmm. And it's actually a hardwood floor finish, okay? <laughs> and so what it is, the mat, the sheen is, is a very low, dull sheen. And it protects, but it also, it almost, as you feel it, it almost feels like it's raw. It does. That's what I noticed upstairs. Yeah. But yeah. that is, that's just oh. how, it, how the invisible finish does. And it gives it that color. So it's almost, if you were to compare a raw piece of wood to this, uh -huh. it looks almost, it's yeah. almost similar. And part huh. of it, it's, it's a water-based product. So that's why it does slightly raise the green. Okay. Wow. That, okay. Uh, he noticed. Cool. Very cool. This but, is a giant island. Yes. So what oh. size is this? So this is uh, wait, six wait. feet. I, wanna, I was going to say, I want to cast dancing island. by six. It's 11 by six. 11 by six. You can't even measure. That is yeah. the biggest island I've ever seen. That's fantastic. Huge. huge. And yeah, I love that they, the push out dining room. Yeah. So, so this, the, this you don't have to have the table is, here. It's over there. Well, and that was part of the space as we were designing it. So we've got plenty of, so this is, you know, you got the sink. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk about the working triangle in a kitchen, the mm -hmm. sink, the stove, the refrigerator. Right. And so we wanted to make sure we had plenty of space here. Yeah. Well, we've got about five feet between the cooktop and the sink. And originally we had only talked about, like in the design, we only had a five foot wide countertop mm -hmm. um, for this island. But, you know, this, this would technically be dead space. It yeah. would be. You know, it's, it's walkway or pat. And so yep. as, as I was talking with the owner, um, we talked about, we actually laid it out. We had two pieces of plywood and we said, look, you know, yeah. what are you going to do with this space here? Right. You know, and she's like, well, I don't know. And I'm like, well, what if we created a larger island? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you can have a beautiful centerpiece. Right. You can and still you can still eat, eat there. And one of the, one of the designers was like, well, I don't know if we like that. Cause then we're going to have to have a seam, mm -hmm. but you know, I don't see a seam. You can hardly, yeah, I mean, you hardly tell. You can, you can hardly tell. There's a like, seam. Because of the, because of the, 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 the veins. veins. Uh-huh. Where's is this the seam? marble? This is quartz. Quartz, quartz. Yeah. I see the seam. Found yeah. it. It's right in the middle. Right here. But it's hard to see. It's not very noticeable, is it? No. Exactly. No. And I really, looks, really and had it looks to look. It looks intentional. Yeah. yeah. But now you it's have perfect. more, this is more useful. Yeah. Uh, better use of the space yeah. than if it was just an extra foot of I mean, walkway. I like beauty, but it has to be useful or yeah. it feels not useful. <laughs> <laughs> really not useful. That is That's poignant. Right. It feels not useful if it's not poignant. useful. Yeah. Okay. Here's my question. I've been waiting to ask. Okay. So we've got brass, but they went with the brass nickel. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason, or is it just that they didn't do, or they don't come with the brass fixtures like this? Well, it was intentional. Yeah. Um, she really liked. So that's, once again, that's polished nickel is polished the finish nickel. on that. And it, the same thing at the pot filler at the stove. Yeah. Okay. Um, but the other accents, I mean, uh, brass and and satin brass is is coming back yeah mm -hmm. and uh, so we did that everywhere and you would think you wouldn't mix it but seeing it yeah you know, I, it's beautiful it's fantastic great. i mean yeah you think about most of the time you have a stainless steel on your appliances mm -hmm. right okay, and you have stainless cooktop 
So you can mix and match colors. Yeah. We've got two I, different I color love cabinets in here. And stuff, that, they, so. that it's mixed in there. Instead of just saying yeah. it's, everything's got to be... The, I mean, because yeah. I love I love symmetry, but I also enjoy a little contrast. So I, I think it's awesome. And uh, these fixtures, these like handles the, are gorgeous. I like the lights up in the top of the oh. cupboards. Yeah. Makes it really fun. Yep. Like their windows. Microwave at a good spot. And uh, yeah. So, Brad, I'm noticing these are some beautiful fixtures. Yes. On there. So, so on this, and it's not throughout, but those are those are great. So yeah, we did. These are solid brass um, mm. uh, cabinet hardware throughout, and you can feel you can really feel. Yeah, when you grab a hold that's of not it's that's heavy. not uh, brushed copper or what do you call this? Is satin? It's called sat satin brass. Is what it is. Satin what brass is, or brushed brass. It just mm -hmm. depends on the manufacturer. Okay. Yeah. But these um, are copper, so you actually have three different. No, they're brass. These are brass. brass. This oh, yeah, is copper. copper. This mm -hmm. is polished nickel. Mm -hmm. Plus, then you have the stainless, stainless, steel. stainless steel. So you got four textures yeah. with the wood. It's mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah. So uh, let me just bring you outside real quick. Yeah, let's go take a look. There's a couple of cool covered porches back here. We saw the one on the master, but there's also kind of like your summer kitchen or your outdoor mm -hmm. outdoor uh, dining. And okay, it's like what 30 degrees out here today. Yeah. Now, one of the things we did, they wanted, can you, can you feel oh, yeah. that? Oh yeah. So these are made by a company called Infratech. And wow. it's, a, it's an electric radiant heat. And so it actually only heats the surface. You, know, you can feel it on yeah. your skin. I can feel it, yeah. 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 Wow. Electric radiant, I think they use that in chicken houses. <laughs> <laughs> the new thing. Keeps but you warm. Right here. There so we go. did one on each side so it, it'll fill the whole yeah. space. I mean, with the wind blowing, it doesn't keep it Perfect. quite as constant. I love this. But, awesome. but this gives them, you know, so they're going to have Bar. a dining table here. So they can nice. use it longer use it in longer. Idaho. Yeah, you got yep. that, the fall when it gets yep. a little chilly in the evening. You can yep. use it earlier or in the spring. Or it's spring and you're anxious just to get out of the house and get started right. to cook. That's yep. awesome. Oh, we yeah, it, it feels great. And we got a it serving, does feel great. A serving I love platform there. Beautiful. So that, yeah, have take advantage of all our I love, instead of going all the way across, having the two separate, that's really fun. It allowed yeah. us to have all that light in that yeah. great room. Yeah, so nice. So I, I'm excited to find out a little more about that over there. Oh yeah, that little if, balcony. Uh, the, the, the balcony, that little balcony over here. We'll I about. can't believe how warm this is right here. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. We're gonna find out a little bit more about it's that awesome. balcony. I bet. Well, I'll go awesome. ahead and shut that off, and we'll okay. head upstairs. And yeah, let's talk take about a look. That, so. Some black and some black fixtures always look beautiful against the white yeah. house. Yeah, you notice all of the windows are black. I yeah. did not notice. Yeah. But now you do. The windows are black. Yeah. <laughs> is that becoming more popular? It's a great punch. Or has it, it is. always been around and people just well, chose it's differently? Just, it's just, well, you think they, of they office them, but... buildings, you think of commercial stuff, all mm -hmm. the windows are black. Mm -hmm. Everything's. Mm -hmm. So that's been around forever. That's not yeah. a new thing. So we're all splitting right, and going around. And right there where you're Thomas going, like, oh, Jessica. We film. We'll head into the pantry so you can see the pantry. One of my favorite places as far as storage for this kitchen. So I love the the look of this from here. Yeah. So even with the door closed, that's why we went with the glass window. Yeah. yeah. The it glass door. Looks be it just looks almost cafe-y. If you stand back, you can see we have both ends are kind of ah, matchy matchy. Column with we got the hutch on that end with the matching door yes. on that end. Yes. Yeah, but I do love the look of what it looks like from right here. Yeah. That's really, really neat. Pretty. I love a sink in the pantry. Sink in the pantry. There's nothing better than having a second sink. Sink and in the, the pantry. pantry. And then we have a space for a full-size upright refrigerator, a second refrigerator, and a f an upright freezer to go in here. Exactly. That's why you don't need the huge depth. We talked about the fridge. We didn't open uh -huh. the fridge. Yeah. yeah. But they you know, have a fridge that you were saying you didn't like that these yeah. big fancy fridges are only this deep. And I love that. Because crap doesn't get lost in the yeah. back, and then you have a bigger fridge yeah. here. And, wow. and one of the things that is, a, you notice it's cooler in here. We didn't yeah. put, we didn't do radiant heat in here because you want your pantry to be cooler. Yeah. Wow. But and another challenge you have and... when you have appliances in a pantry and a door, mm -hmm. it gets hot. Yes. yes. So That's there's an extra switch right here that we put, and you and we hit it under behind one of these beams. So we have an exhaust fan. Oh, nice. Down ah. here to draw out the heat when they Perfect. do decide they want. Because you know, when you get freezer. too big, yeah. Yeah. I think it's going it's it, to get warmer it, in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And plus, you're in here working. This is a working pantry. You've got all of your appliances here, so you could work in here and not yeah. have to worry about that. So then you're getting warm, and you want to have and, pull that and hot air out. I'm just going to show you the edge of this. You don't notice it out there in the kitchen, but this is like a full one-inch. Like These are all hand-hewn wow. tiles. What is it? Beautiful. What is it's it? It's a clay tile. Clay. Uh -huh. Beautiful. That's neat. 
And so you don't see how thick it is until you get to see the edge. Yeah. What, it, what is this? Fun. So this is an instant like cold and an instant hot for, you know, like your coffee or your hot wow. chocolate, any instant beverage or anything like that you need. And you got, you know, ah! it's purified and it's got nice. a filtration system. Love Perfect. that. It ah, lights, I love but it. it's still warm and cozy and yeah. so beautiful. Fun. Gorgeous. I love a little desk off the kitchen too. Yeah, so this is her little organizer area, yeah. you know, so she can throw her keys, have her little yeah. work area, keep cookbooks, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And it's or if kids are doing homework, I mean, yeah. they're right here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, if you don't want the hustle and bustle of people privacy. out in there, yeah, a little bit of privacy and closes yeah. off the space. Which is nice. But then it, you know, opens love right it. on up. And love it opens it. right up into the mud room that comes off the garage. I love these fixtures. Lockers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all the lockers. Beautiful. In here. Again, the brass. I love that. Gorgeous. Yep. I'll take you out into the garage really quick just to show you a couple of things. So we actually epoxied the garage floor. And epoxy. I went through a house yesterday and I couldn't remember. Like it's painted concrete. It's yeah. epoxy. It's epoxy. But it so what does epoxy do? Well, a couple of things. It allows you concrete stains real easily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And epoxy it, they can clean really. So for example, they were just in here and I just right before you guys came, I just threw a bucket of water down and grabbed a squeegee and just squeegeed it, squeegeed out. it and out. You can see how, I mean, it just goes right out. Yep. But you notice now, I mean, it's not slick. It's got, oh, yeah. there's a it's little, got a little, little, texture, little yeah. texture to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's nice. And then one other thing I wanted to show you, so this is the mechanical room, one of the mechanical rooms we have in the home. This is where the boiler is. That has, for the radiant for heat. For the radiant heat, exactly. Uh -huh. So in here, this boiler. Wow controls and, and runs all that of the high techy. all the heat for the floor, for the in-floor heat, and it actually heats the domestic hot water as well. So we've got a 90 gallon. That's a giant wa indirect, hot water it's heater. It's called an indirect uh, hot water heater because it's actually the hot, the heat is supplied through the boiler. Hmm. And as, hmm. as you start using the hot water with 90 gallon capacity, that's got 160 degree water in it. As the cold water comes in the bottom, there's a sensor down here that when it realizes that the temperature in that tank drops enough, it turns on the boiler and kicks on the heat and it has a circular coil in here that heats up the water. And so by the time this cold water gets up to here, it's hot and it's wow. almost like an endless hot water supply. Nice. And nice. endless hot water and what, and it just looks beautiful. Your I mean, layouts are always here. beautiful in your mechanical rooms. Yeah. Yeah. But they have to be useful. Well, exactly. <laughs> well, so what's things. the little red uh, fireman's light? Oh, so this is a recirculation pump that we put on the hot water line to recirculate the water because the master, for example, is the farthest away bathroom, mm -hmm. but that's probably the one that gets used the most in a home. Mm -hmm. And so we, with the plumber, the plumber, we always have him put a, a recirculation pump on so that it's almost like instant hot. You turn the faucet on and you don't have to wait for 30 seconds for the- Because it has to go all the way up. Yep. To and so it's constantly it's circulating. Yeah. So these are pressure tanks. And what that does is it helps keep the pressure inside, inside the uh, radiant heating system uh -huh. temperature. So that, because boilers are somewhat finicky if they get, they can get, they can get air locks in them. Uh -huh. And if they get an air lock, they actually give you an air code. And so the installers always put these pressure tanks on hmm. and that actually helps keep a uniform pressure so that wow. it won't like air lock. I just love it, the steampunk look, all the gauges yeah. and the twists it, and the I levers. It and looks the, beautiful. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. And I love the copper pipes. Yeah, I love it's really well, cool. and here's the thing, like there's a lot of work that goes into the mechanical systems in a home and most of that ends up being buried. Yeah, you know, so you behind never the see walls, it. You, don't, yeah. you don't realize how much effort was put in, you know, by the plumbing and the heating mm -hmm. and the electricians. Yeah. You know, there are some of your major subcontractors that uh, they are, the beauty of their work never yeah. gets shown. Yeah. yeah. So and is this where you have to get to and fix it. So this is where one of the furnaces yeah and we, we actually the one have, of the furnaces? Yes. So we did we have four system four furnaces in this in addition to the radiant heat. Wow. Because it's more efficient going with smaller furnaces in individual areas than trying to use one great big one. To do to heat the whole Smart. source, it's, it's it works better. And High we did point a, touch. we did a humidifier. We added a humidifier to this. Oh. So that they can, so that they can keep the humidity better. And you know, especially in, in dry Idaho, Idaho when we, we get always dry. heat and it gets soup, it wow. super. Wow. Yep. So we we did that as nice. well. Nice, great ideas. So smart. Yeah, that's what I say the whole time. So smart. So smart. Well, we'll take you upstairs now. You should have called this smart point instead of smart high point. point. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we're this, I was expecting, I was thinking that was going to be cute barrel, but it's not just a cute art. It's not, and we tie, and so that has an arch purposely to tie in with the arches. Yes, at the entryway there. Yeah. It looks awesome. Oh, look at this! One of my favorite things. Cute little powder room. So yeah, we've got penny tile on the floor of the powder room. Love that. I love the wallpaper. I love the wallpaper. I love the sink with some ship the wrap retro. on the ceiling. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Love that. Ba love that bathroom. No. Oh. So so cool. All right, we're going upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs. So this house is actually four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. Yeah, the master's on the main, and the other three bedrooms are upstairs. No basement. No basement because this is on, built on a crawl space mm -hmm. because the water table is high in this area, and oh, so you yeah. can't build basements here. Gotcha. Makes sense. Gotcha. I love that you added the windows in the stairwell. And They're they like footlights. Lights. Well, and they really match on the exterior. Ah, uh, yeah. They tie in with everything on yeah. the exterior. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Every kid, view. every kid loves a balcony. Right. To yeah. throw stuff off. Oh of. yeah, I was gonna say. Yep. She, her grandkids are young enough; they haven't started doing that yet. But I'm sure it will happen. You'll want to throw stuff off of there. Someone's down yep. there. You're throwing stuff. Of course. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Gorgeous. And you get a really good look at these beautiful beams. <clears throat> beautiful beams. Ah, oh, great room. Okay. And this is where I felt the texture yeah. that you talked about, the finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's neat. Gorgeous. Now, is it radiant heat in the floor up here? No, we just did, we just did a forced air system up here. Probably because the heat rises, and so you don't have to heat it up, heat, heat it up as much? Well, actually, not really. So heat, that's it. <laughs> actually, no, dummy. <laughs> so people, that's what a lot of people think. Everybody yeah. thinks that heat rises. Right. Okay, heat doesn't rise. Hot air rises. Oh. Okay, heat migrates. Do tell. Okay, heat migrates from warm to cold. Think about like a welding mm -hmm. rod, okay? If you're holding on to one end of a, of a hot welding rod, mm -hmm. okay, that heat is heat over here and it moves, okay? So hot air, that's why with forced air systems, a lot of times in basements, mm -hmm. okay? You know, as you go down stairs, you get about four foot from the bottom and you're like, you feel that cold spot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the warm air that is hot, lighter, oh. and so the warm air rises and the cool air is down low. With radiant heat, you don't have that. Radiant oh. heat is a constant. It, it migrates until the whole surface and everything is at constant temperature. And nice. so, you know, the walls, the floor, everything now that the radiant heat is on is all warm. So it's not, so radiant heat is not escaping. No. Escaping, it's warming its surface. It's and warming the surface. It's, seeking, it's yeah. seeking the cold spots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go, amazing. That's a, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Here's yeah. another one. See how the, smart I am? So here's, not, here's the furnace that we did for the upstairs uh -huh. so this one basically runs and it's also their conditioning that helps mm -hmm. air conditioning this the, the top half mm -hmm. of this great room here what i yeah. really love is it's always the biggest trouble is the zones of heating <clears throat> is every hot and cold in different areas the upstairs is hotter and the downstairs so oh. the idea of smaller units that mm -hmm. are oh it's so smart it, it yeah, allows you to balance them much easier yeah yeah so mm -hmm. smart yeah. okay so we've got one there's a bedroom on the bedroom side right with here. a bath Okay, and then we'll have a couple other bedrooms over there. And then there's, then we have the, there's another furnace that's kind of tucked away here in the attic. Another furnace? That we did, that's, it's for the master suite because air conditioning needed over there. And it's also a backup heat source as well. Ah. Um, but uh, in the design, we were trying to figure the best place for it without taking up just living space. Mm -hmm. And so we talked with the uh, truss manufacturer and we created a little space. This is actually in the trusses wow. over the master bedroom and closet area and then completely in enclosed it in, foamed it in so that it's nice. energy efficient yeah. and it serves as a storage, little storage room yep. and furnace room for the whole master. Oh my goodness. Perfect. And you'd only need a small furnace exactly. for just the, yep. so smart. For that one. And if that one, if you have one that goes out, it's not a hundred thousand dollar break. It's one smaller furnace. Yeah. So and with with the with the combination, you know, we because we actually did uh, we had uh, it was just a pressure switch on one of the furnaces, but they seem to always go out at the most inopportune times. It's like on a always on a Saturday Sunday. night or a Sunday, you know. Yep. And okay, it was like four degrees at night that night, mm -hmm. and so I got a phone call Sunday morning, and I'm like, well, let's just make sure that everything else is working, which it did, uh -huh. and so then we were able to get the 
you know, the trade partner out Very nice. from the heating company and took care of it on Monday morning. And Good heavens. It was Perfect. literally a $5 part, but, you know. <laughs> it shuts everything down. That's how it is. That's yeah, right. that's how it I is. love this. this Jessica is wanted to see the floor. This. The mermaid floor. Yeah. Is it mermaid tile? Seashell mermaid. Seashell. Yeah, I mean, it definitely oh. has an ocean yeah. or a, some kind of a... Coastal farmhouse. Coastal farmhouse. That's exactly yep. right. This is fun. I love the color this, of the backsplash. Uh, the top of the oh, counter. Oh, yeah. Has got some, this some fun pop-out shapes. Just for fun? Shapes. Yeah, it just follows the cabinet shape. Yep. Beautiful. It's neat. Oh, very cool. Love it. I love a window, and I love a high window in a bathroom. That's mm -hmm. not a... And it's I on a second that. story, and so... Yeah, yeah. Unless and you've it's, got the drone. It started to rain as we were down at the bottom, and so I wondered if that was a raindrop glass or real glass, and so that's fun to see the okay. rain yeah. on the outside. Yep. Nobody's peeking in those windows. That's right. All right, I'm excited. Onward and upward. We got two more bedrooms. Two more to bedrooms, see. and then we got the bonus room. And two more bedrooms bonus. and a bonus room. The it bonus. It just feels so open. I bonus, mean, it's bonus. It's not a gigantic, monstrous, twelve thousand square foot house, but, but it, it feels, feels open. So open. and yeah. but it also is, you know, that warm and cozy. It's not like you're running right, twenty minutes to, to find your yeah. kid. Your kids can't really hide as well. <laughs> well, I also like that most of the living is on the main floor. This mm -hmm. seems this to be bedroom, yeah. bedroom yeah. and maybe yeah. an extra room, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love the main floor. Yeah. And so on, on the ceiling, the ceiling height we did upstairs, this is all nine foot ceilings. Mm -hmm. Okay, we did 10 on the main, but nine up here. You're still yeah. tall And ceilings. so, you know, you mentioned, you know, we had the eight foot doors downstairs, but yeah. we have normal six foot eight Regular. doors. Regular. Midget doors. Yeah. <laughs> they but still, they feel midgety feel now midgety that I'm like, why is this yeah. door so tiny? Yeah, I love that. So this is another beautiful a, another looks bedroom over the back. Yeah. that uh, kind of has an adjoining bathroom. This we, is just the black love trim the black with the trim. sunflower floor. I love the I love the black and the I yeah I love that look yeah because there was one pl other place I had the office so this has got the th fun texture too. Mm -hmm. The office had black trim mm -hmm. and then this one has black trim. Yeah. And one of the things we did with this bathroom since it's kind of for both these bedrooms right is the actual toilet room and shower is on its own separate door so you've got you know kind of a common yeah. if someone's if they, can two still usable be spaces exactly. with privacy yeah with yeah. cute cute pinstripe shower curtain oh that's cute this this makes me think of a super retro urbany it's very 30s urban. yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. kind of uh like if feel. someone remade a, a new york city yeah, yeah. apartment that's uh -huh. what they're very black yeah. and super cute yeah. super cute so then we just got another bedroom right here tommy can peek in yep and I love the colors in that one. And, and all the colors, every room. It, I love that they didn't just stick to the same thing in every room. Yeah. It's everyone has a unique kind of flair and And, and that is called, I think it's modern gray. One of them is modern gray and one of them is classic gray. I can't remember mm. which, which wall color is which, but those are the two colors. All and right, and now and, comes the fun. And then, yeah, now we get to come to the fun. So this, so this is a custom uh, four and a half, four, four foot, two inch door that we, we built that accesses into the, uh, the bonus room. Which is which, over the garage. Which is over the garage. Yeah. You know, you know my favorite part of the barn doors is they're beautiful and functional. You know, this is just beautiful. The hardware, we were in that room that had all the pipes. Yeah. All the pipes are just beautiful. It just is, well, I love the a high function. Point touch. I love the function and the beauty. <laughs> the beauty also, of functional yeah. things. The high point touch is you've got molding a lot of people will just hang that barn door thing, but you've got molding behind that. Molding yeah. the match. And that was, we had, you know, they had a different style rail that they wanted, but it wouldn't work mm -hmm. with the molding. Mm -hmm. And you can't Beautiful. just go down to Home Depot and buy a four and a half no. foot wide you know, no. door. So yeah. um, my trim carpenter had a fun time building that. Building that door. It. Super Love pretty that. piece so of art. We transition from over the house to over mm -hmm, the garage. Mm -hmm. And as you walk here, you notice we have a low ceiling as we come through, mm -hmm. but this is the transition. And then we walk into the bonus room, we step down intentionally. So you step down into a new space. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we did here when we, were, when we were designing it, the owners were like, I don't want it to feel like a low ceiling, you know, sometimes with the trusses like that you have. Like you're kind of creeping yeah, into the... Or not being able to use the side space. Yeah, because it goes so low. Because it starts yeah. so low with the angle. So what we did is in the design, while we were framing it, we lowered the wall of the garage 12 inches. Mm. Okay, because the bonus room, the trusses sit on top of that wall. And so by doing that, we lengthened the side wall of this truss one foot 
And so we step down in, and so we still are able so to have a nine of foot ceiling here. Yeah, instead of the wall starting here, it's wow. starting up here at six feet. So and it's so and it's and huge it, and open and yeah, airy. It a little a bit of punch of shiny that. black. That's yeah, right. A little, a little nod to the the grand piano throughout the house. You have the grand piano nods here and here and here. The shiny with the, black. With the black and around incorporating the, the white and, oak in a few areas yeah. and we've got the bench over yeah. here love that i love that that matches in the bench so awesome. originally another thing is that this this one was originally supposed to just have windows on both sides to match mm -hmm. okay and as we were discussing the final design the owner said it would be awesome if i could have like a balcony to come out on the back yeah. of my house and just overlook the backyard and see the lake and every you know everything yeah. in yeah. the evenings. Everyone's in here playing all their stuff, and you can sit out and yeah. read your book on the balcony or. And so do what we did is we actually pushed this wall out an extra nice. foot and a half, so it was right over the back wall. Perfect. Changed this center door window out and put a door, and then we created. And this. now we're out onto that little balcony yeah. that I saw from the back. Yeah. And we created this little balcony. <laughs> That's the Gi most giant beanbag I've ever seen. That's a 10-man yeah. beanbag. It's <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I love this. And, you know, in the evening, when the sun's on the west, this is on the east side of the home. So nice. And you can sit out here and enjoy it. Enjoy Rigby yeah. Lake. Enjoy. Yeah. What's the lot size on this? So this is a two-and-a-half-acre lot. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. And this is gorgeous wood. Yeah, so this is called sapile. It's an African mahogany. Hmm. Um, that uh, is water, you know, resistant like uh, mm -hmm. cedar is. Yeah. And so, nice. um, gorgeous. Well, this is gorgeous. And with the uh, wire, with the stainless cable, steel cable railing, cable, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the cable yeah, rail. So that you don't that impede you, your view. Yeah. Exactly. Without having to have glass or mesh yeah. or something. Safe so yeah, the I dogs can't run out here and that's, jump off the balcony, of which exactly I had right. one of those dogs jump that's, off. The, anyway, that's, I can bring up those old issues. That's a whole issues. campfire story. I feel like this is a campfire story type of place. Well, this house is phenomenal well thank yeah. you for coming I so fun. thank you for showing yeah. us and explaining it because i love the explaining well, and thank the yeah. owners for letting yes. us come in okay. and yeah. bring a million people without <laughs> yeah. a million people walking that's on the yeah. carpet because that's, exa it. that's yep. exactly right well it's, it's awesome perfect. all right you okay. guys if you're interested uh, i don't know if you know but bradwell's high point companies builds houses i do and awesome so give him a call houses. there's a link down go check out his website he's got i mean his facebook page follow him he's got amazing stuff Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's been and awesome. follow Murdoch Man Rain as well, and That's follow right. the Nosy Neighbors, and follow all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. There's, there's so much stuff. Yeah, everyone's locked in their homes. It's the best thing to do. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, this has been Jessica Carden. And Nicole Crosley and... Brad Wells. Brad Wells, <laughs> your Nosy Neighbors, keeping you in the know. You notice every room has a different center fixture, too? Like yes. That. All kind of different, even... Yeah. Yeah. That's this is beads over here, and that's kind of the wicker. Yeah, they're all just a little beach different. beach beads. Is that what you yeah, call them? Beach beads. But beach why do you beads. call them beach beads? I don't know. That's what I just think of when I, I look at them. Made up that dumb word. It beach is, bead. and it works perfect. This is beach beads. Yeah. See how each one's a little different. Those, those are, are beach shells. beads. Yeah, those are. They're you shells. Know what that's about. called beach beads. Those so at night, are. just let me just show you this. So we just did this little rope that's light, fun. Kind, of, kind of in that little piece yeah. there. Oh yeah, Tommy loves indirect light. The one light I forgot. Look at how when you just have that one light on, that's a lovely night light as well. Uh -huh.